Good day all. My name is Aparna Radhakrishnan. I am affiliated with NOAA GFTL and an employee of Princeton's Cooperative Institute for Modeling the Earth System. Today I'm here on behalf of the Model Diagnostics Task Force Framework Team. Before we talk about the MDTF or the Model Diagnostics Task Force, let's talk process-oriented diagnostics. In this slide, we see the composite life cycle of the MJO or the Madden-Julian oscillations. We see that the MJO amplitude varies across each models compared to the observational data sets amongst other things. But why is this happening? And is this happening for the right reasons? The figure on the right hand side explains the connection with moisture pattern skill and we see how that correlates with MJO propagation skill in each of the models, for instance, just to validate things and make sure our model development is aligned with the processes themselves. So we're asking the questions, why does the model behave a certain way? How can we do a deep dive into the processes or emergent behaviors? Can we learn from the diagnostics and be able to share it and use it to improve our models. That's in a nutshell what we're looking at when we say process-oriented diagnostics. The task force that connects model development efforts with expertise in the academic and private sectors to evaluate and improve model performance and process representation is the NOVA's Model Diagnostics Task Force. It is funded by the NOVA MAP program. We have established a community of over 90 diagnosticians. We have a Python-based software framework that allows you to run and generate the pod on CMAP datasets and beyond with configurable switches in the framework. We are able to do model versus OBS or even the multi-model comparisons are now possible in our newest version. We collaborate with DOE on Earth System metrics and diagnostic standards. And in terms of where we're headed, we are working on a major redesign for the data preprocessor component so we can have a more agile framework for everybody. We also hope to expand to more Earth system components and different time scales, including the weather scale phenomena. We're also actively engaged with other modeling centers to see how we can integrate this into the model workflow pipeline. On that note, thank you so much for listening. I invite you all to learn more about the MDTF. I hope the links posted here are helpful for you. Please feel free to open up a GitHub issue and connect with us to explore the MDTF together. Thank you so much.